Hey everyone, the name is Director, and in today's video we will be looking into the faces, the facial expressions of the different personality types. I will be introducing you to some of the core characteristics and facial expressions of the different personality types. But before that, oh my god, thank you everyone. Thank you for this month on Patreon. Thank you for pledging around $200 to support my cause in spreading information about personality types and personality psychology. Thank you Yesaya and Aiden and Christina for supporting me with $20 each this month. Thank you Recep, Sparky, Diana, Ilya, Kimberly, Leonora, Michelle, Carolyn, Edward, Rachel and Jacob for your submission of $10. You know that all of you are well within the right to come to me and ask for help with anything at any point of time. If you have any questions, if you're, there's anything you're curious about, anything you're thinking about, always feel free to hit me up with a message. Let me know. I can write an article and I can make a video perhaps and we can talk about it together. And to all of you all others who support me, thank you as well. Thank you to Frank and Mustafa and Glorian and Farah and Matthew for coming in with two dollars. No, it doesn't really matter how much you send. Everything is appreciated. The, the fact that you want to support me in any way, that's amazing. So let's get right into it. Let's get right into your face. Yeah, let's get right in your face. Uh, let's talk about uh, the expressions that I've seen that overlap with certain personality types. Now let's start with INFJ. First, the uh, intuitive and judging expression. Let's start with the broad-eyed gaze of the NJ. The NJ will focus, lock on their gaze, but not on anything in specific. When the NJ looks, their look is much more scheming, plotting, planning and secretive. Yeah, NJs tend to look a little untrustworthy almost because NJs, with NJs you never really know what they're up to, you know, don't know what an NJ is up to. There's always something in the air, something they're doing, something secret, something nuanced that they're doing. And you don't know what, and the truth is NJs don't know what either. NJs have abstract, theoretical, lofty goals. They're future oriented, they're looking at what might happen, they're exploring new paths, new possibilities, new careers, they're making and moving with determination towards an unclear future. So the NJ's case is that of a broad focus. You'll see this ra relaxed activation of the muscles around the eyes, this relaxed gaze as they look with intent and hope and deliberation for the future. Now compare this to the SJ. Let's talk about the SJ. The SJ has the gaze of somebody that focuses their muscles around the eyes. The sensing and judging type is the person that focuses on something, locks their eyes on something about you, something in particular about you. The sensing and judging types are aware of detail. They follow and they trust protocol, routine, duty, tradition. You'll see a sensing and judging type as a person that will often look as if they're kind of distrustful. Yeah, SJs tend to look a little distrusting because they're looking at you and they're going, can I really believe that? Is that really true? Can I really count on that? Can I really count on you doing that? Are you really gonna be able to do that? Sensing and judging types have this quality of distrust, general distrust towards other people's ability to execute and do what they said they would. Sensing and judging types want and value people that can be reliable, people that will show up on time, people that will follow procedure and do what they said they would. And that's why sensing and judging types are often the builders and the negotiators of our society. The political figures, the media figures that talk on TV that we know we can trust. We know they won't get the facts wrong, we know they've double checked things. We know that they follow tradition and we know that we can count on and know what to expect from them. We know what sensing and judging types can be expected to do because they often follow clear paths, they outline clear definitions for where they want to go. They are often secure and reliable where the NJ is scheming and visionary in their quality. The feeling and judging type has the quality of someone that is merry. Often the feeling and judging type looks diplomatic, persuasive and people aware. Yeah, the feeling and judging type looks and talks as if they have a bias, a clear argument they're trying to sell to you. 
the feeling in judging type talks as if they're trying to sell you something, as if they are trying to persuade or argue towards a certain belief. Feeling and judging types are not afraid of their bias, of being biased, of having a personal opinion, of trying to advance this opinion, but they're open to diplomacy, towards discussion, compromise, on arguments, on establishing a code of conduct together with the people, towards setting up a set way that we can all work together. Feeling and judging types have the quality of people that you can relax around. There is no power intrigue here. There is no desire to enforce a certain way of life in the feeling and judging type. There is no power play or competitiveness from the feeling and judging type. It is much more relaxed. Now, what I've noticed is that the thinking and judging type is distinct in this impartial smile. They have the smile, the tense smile, the serious smile, the smile of someone that is happy but still remains impartial, still remains objective. Yeah, the energy coming off this person, the passion coming off this person is impartial. They're passionate about an ambition, a clear goal, a formal definition, a formal opportunity, a clearly defined venture or project. The thinking and judging type can describe in detail what they're doing and how they're getting there and what they're going to do. Where the feeling and judging type will often be much more emotionally invested in what they say. They will talk about the goal or the experience or the thrill or the pleasure or the emotional desire they are working towards. Their goals are described as peace and happiness and future. And often the thinking and judging will stay wary of this. The thinking and judging type will focus on what they can describe, what they can do to end war or to create peace, what they can do to create happiness, what they can do to make the world a better place. The thinking and judging type stays within the rules, within the system, and what is possible through a system, through their proposals and through their decisions. The quality of the feeling and judging type is that of a negotiator or of an explorer. The quality of a thinking and judging type is that of a builder or a director. The person that works and uses proposals, definitions, strategies, schemes and tactics and some kind of systematic procedure to achieve their goals. The judging types can be divided into four distinct phases. The phases of the explorer, I'm talking about the NFJs here, the INFJ and the ENFJ, that are the most softly judging of all the personality types. The explorers have goals that are often quite vague, general, broad, big picture oriented. The explorers have goals that are often quite qualitative, nuanced, and a lot of the time more about emotional purpose than about clear ambition such as seeking a promotion or seeking a higher salary or seeking to get a new house. The feeling and judging type just wants to be happy or to grow as a person or as to move further along in life and to feel a higher state of progression. The NTPs and the INTPs and the ENTPs fall in the negotiator bubble, the sensing, feeling and judging bubble. When an INTP or an ENTP is looking at you with focus, often they will come off more as SFJs than as NTPs. When they look and lock on towards you, and NTPs rarely do this, but sometimes they do, they tend to look more like negotiators. They look trustworthy, reliable, honest, upright. They look as if they are model citizens of society. They look diplomatic, open to talk about problems, open to discuss things and open to compromise and to work together with other people. The sensing, feeling and judging types, they're not harsh, they're friendly, they're cooperative, they're negotiating with you all the time, arguing with you and seeing if they can sell their viewpoint and if they can get you along with them towards their vision or towards their goal. The directors are the INTJs and the ENTJs. Their face is that of a person that is visionary, scheming, plotting, serious, honest, reliable, hardworking, 
meticulous, thorough, secure. The NJs, the INTJs, look like they are serious, tough-headed, level-headed, impartial judging types. Where the NFJs look like they are partial judging types. Finally, the builders, the STJs, the ISTJs and the ESTJs, but also the INFPs and the ENFPs, have the faces and the expression, the judging traits of a person that is secure, reliable, honest, trustworthy, and someone that is going to follow procedure, follow tradition, follow a set order. The sensing, thinking, judging type look as if they are people that will honor agreement and that will see a collaboration through to the end. The sensing, thinking and judging types also look serious and impartial, ready to set aside their own interests to uphold the rules of the system. And here you have two, four different faces, four different expressions. Were I able to spot yours? Can you see yourself in the expressions I just talked about? Take a selfie of yourself, check and see and tell if you can see it in your friends and in your family as well. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for supporting on Patreon. Hope to see you guys tomorrow.